I mean, I, pra I mean, I did practice in in tough tough conditions because obviously it, it can get incredibly windy there. But yeah, no, I mean, nothing like it was uh, nothing like it was today. That's for sure. It looks like they've just suspended that match as well. Andy, what's it like? Yeah, I mean it's well, it's, yeah, it's great. Um, you know, that's that's the first time I met um, Sir Alex and uh, first time I met um, Sir Sean as well. Uh, so yeah, it's that's obviously obviously nice. Um, you know, to have their support and hopefully they'll they'll be back to the final as well. No, I was actually just saying. I said to Thomas, you know, the the referee was going to give me the point. I went up to the umpire and up to Thomas and I said, are you 100% sure it came off? You know, cause I, you know, obviously I, I didn't know. I knew my hat had come off and then I, you know, I looked around. But I didn't know whether the ball had bounced twice or not. So I just asked him if he was 100% sure. And if he was, I would replay the point. And he said he was sure. And then we saw it on the replay. And I think it, I, I, it, looked, it looked like it came off um, almost as I hit the ball. Yeah, it's been it's been great. Um, you know, obviously at the beginning of this of this tournament as well, I, I haven't actually played great tennis so far. So I've just you know in some of the matches just found a way to to get through and um, yeah to be in the final and get the chance to to play for for a Grand Slam is is great. And you know the year is obviously not over yet, but this is you know probably the last big big match I'll, I'll play this year. And I'm looking forward to it. No, I think all, all all experiences like that help. I don't think you know, in some ways, you know, maybe take a bit of pressure off me. Um, you know, and I, but I, I I do think that you know, even having played here and lost in the final, that is also you know a good experience to have gone through and you know having to deal with all the sort of different weather conditions and matches getting suspended and obviously now I'll have a day off when you know mentally you're preparing to to play Saturday Sunday it's been you know I've had quite a lot of breaks during this tournament as well so it has been hard to <clears throat> to stay in a rhythm a little bit too so yeah I mean all, all of those big matches and all of the slams and Olympics and stuff they all they all help in, in the long run. In a way do you think winning a big yeah, I think you know my results and in the slams over the last couple of years has been been very good, and obviously this year in the you know the major tournaments, you know along with the Olympics, it's been it's been my best year um, today. You know, never made two Grand Slam finals in a year, so. And that's obviously you know a good sign that I'm I'm playing better and still learning. Um, and the Olympics, you know, was the biggest win of my career by by far. Um, you know, it meant a lot to me too. So whatever happens in the final, it's been a great year. But you know, all I want to make sure I, I do in the final is that I give 110 percent. I know how hard these opportunities are to you know to to come by, and you know I'll, I'll give it everything in the final. Yeah. Yeah, I think um yeah, I mean Novak you would think no you know, I am I'm sure the weather will be a lot calmer tomorrow. Um you'd say probably from that position still he's probably still the, the favourite to win. Um, you know, but David makes it very, very hard, he makes it very physical. Um he's in great shape and he's playing the best tennis of his career this year. I've played played him many times and um, you know, an unbelievably tough match with him at Wimbledon. You know, I lost him at the French Open, and you know, the previous year I played him in the Aussie Open as well, and that was that was also a brutal match. It was very very tough. So, you know, both guys are, are going to be very very tough to play. Andy, uh, getting back to your hat, uh, so you were just trying to keep it on. Or 
what I'd done. If it happened a second time, I would have lost the point, and obviously I got broken. Uh, you know, I, I should have, not should have, but you know, I won the point with the drop shot. You know, because I had, came off, I then obviously had to replay the point and got broken the next point. So, you know, I didn't want to take the chance of that happening again and, and losing the point. It would have been stupid. I mean, I handled a big match against them well in Australia this year. It was a great match. Uh, both, I think both of us played very well, and it came down to a couple of points. And, you know, I know how much the Olympics meant to all of the, the players, and winning against them in the Olympic semi-final, you know, was... You know, it was a big win for me. I know how tough it is to beat the you know the top top players in, in big matches. So, you know, I've had you know some tough losses against them, but also had some some big highs you know against them as well. Um, so, you know, it'd obviously be an unbelievably tough match. I mean, he, he moves very well on the hard courts. He's a top 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 player, one of the best players that's that's played. You know, the year he had last year is incredible. So, you know, if it is him. I know it's going to be a very, 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 very tough match. Was there any uh, attempt in conversation to talk to the four of you whether you just got caught today? No, we ca I mean, we kind of got told a, a little bit, but, you know, I just knew that we, the, they said it was going to start raining um, around 6.30, um, you know, so, but if it came, you know, because it was so windy, you know, they didn't know exactly how long it was going to take for that. That storm to to come, um, you know that the yeah. I mean, they said that when it came, it was basically that was the, the day done. So I was glad that you know I was going to be able to get my match um, in. Um, but yeah, we told we were told they were planning on cancelling the women's final first before they would have split the the courts. They were going to try and get the two men's semis played today. Well, I think the last time it happened, the reason these stops is for a tornado. Yeah. I don't think it's but for the rain. You know, you know, I don't know. I was in that position, you know, a few years ago, and it was that was, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's a tough, tough situation to to be in. Obviously, you know, there's people there that are, you know, there to to make those decisions. So. You'd obviously need to to ask them the the reasons, but behind that, but you know, who knows? Who knows what the the right decision was? You know, I'm just glad that I was the first match today and got it done. It's been a long been a long day today, so I'm just happy I'm through. Last question, please. Thomas said that um, maybe it, you know it wasn't the best the best match because of the conditions, and maybe it should be a rule like the rain. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it was. There's certain rules in in tennis that you know were broken many times today. You know, it took us a long time to hit serves. There was probably sometimes two minutes between points because it was taking so long for us to throw the ball up and stuff. You know, if you know, maybe those rules should should be in, enforced. You know, a little bit. You know, or not not play the the matches, but. You know, I don't know if they stop in other sports for you know a lot of wind. I mean, when there's a tornado around, then that's pretty serious. I think yeah, that's the the right time to to stop. But you know, there's there's a skill to to playing in the wind. I've never played in it when it's been that bad. But you know, people like to watch professionals struggle when they're in uh, in tough conditions. You know, Ivan always says to me he loves watching the golfers when it's blowing really hard because you know they hit some bad shots and makes them feel a lot better. So I think people enjoy watching, you know, you know, people playing or professionals playing in, in tough conditions. Andy, so many people want you, want this for you, want you to win to make the final. Um, it's an absurd question in a way. We all know you.